Welcome back to another video and if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by i hope you stay a while i hope you all are having a lovely tuesday february 22nd 2022 the portal is open so i hope you all are feeling the energy so anyway you saw these nail tips and some of the decorations i'll be using these nail tips are just from amazon of course i'm gonna give them a little choppy chop because I really don't feel like having super long nails. And then I'm just gonna use some base gel to protect my natural nail bed and, you know, make the nail tips flush with my natural nail. And anyway, whenever you're using poly gel, you always wanna lay a base gel layer down because, girl, it will be so rough on your natural nails trying to get it off. But anyway, next we're gonna go in with this X SXC, why that's always so difficult to get out, poly, or poly gel in sparkly, and it's just a beautiful blush pink. And this will be the background for those holographic butterflies. And this will be going on, of course, the pinky, the middle, and the pointer finger. So I'm just gonna let you enjoy this application. And if you can hear in the background, of course it is pouring down rain because any major lunar event, it always rains cats and dogs. So I find it quite comforting and enjoyable to listen to. So yes, enjoy the process. curing for 60 seconds we're gonna go in with this other poly gel this was just got from I don't know Aliexpress maybe somewhere but uh, this this is one of those nightmare poly gels that it's just the consistency of it is so sticky and runny that it is not enjoyable to work with whatsoever. It is quite frustrating. No matter how much alcohol you put on your brush, it's just so hard to kind of move it around. So kind of got it where I needed it to and then use my base gel to kind of smooth it out a bit. But yeah, you just kind of have to just make do with where you can get it and then make your corrections during the filing phase. But yes, got that on. And now we're going to clean the sticky layer off and then go in with our hand file first just to crispen up these side walls and taper those, like the tip of the nail in just a bit. It's kind of doing our starting work before we go in with our electric file in which we will go ahead and smooth the top of the nail down and get our apex and everything all smoothed out. So, and I'm using a coarse sanding band to do this. After sweeping that dust off and giving them another swipe with some alcohol, we're going to go in with just a bit of clear poly gel and this is going to be the sticky agent that we're going to use to adhere these butterflies. And I'm not going to do full coverage, I'm basically just going to cover the cuticle area and then kind of lightly fade the butterflies up. So this is really just going to be about trying to 
place like you don't want to put a big dollop of these down you want to take a few at a time and really try to cover every bit of the poly gel at the cuticle area so that's what I'm doing so just taking my time adding a little bit more where I need it because I felt like I needed to fade them up a bit more but yeah I'm just gonna let you watch me do this I'm just gonna do it to the pinky and the middle finger and then the first finger I try to do more of a uh, like put them in a line I wanted to do like just a straight line of butterflies down the middle of the nail but yes I guess I didn't cure them enough so you'll see what happens with that but I, I didn't even really notice it until I went to do the end shot so then I was like oh they're not straight anymore so it wasn't a big deal <laughs> but yes again just taking a few butterflies at a time and really going in and trying to get some complete opaque coverage of these Once all of my butterflies are placed I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna go in with that same clear poly gel and use that for my encapsulation so I like to just apply a straight line bead down the center of the nail and then of course I get my cuticle all padded out first and then I like to move the line towards the side walls and that just helps you keep the product from getting too thick because then that's gonna be a ton of filing you have to do so yes it's just the easiest way I find to encapsulate see here I have a line down the center of the nail we go ahead and pat our cuticle in and then we pat down towards these sidewalls And after curing that for 60 seconds and going in with my hand file once again just to smooth everything out I give those a wipe with some alcohol and then we're going in with our fixed gel and just on those two glitter nails we're gonna do some cuticle stones just to I don't know up the sparkly and there really was no rhyme or reason I kind of used a variety of sort of rose color pink color and then like some sort of a B sort of looking ones and I just applied them whatever I was grabbing I just threw it on there <laughs> And after popping my hand in the lamp for 30 seconds, we're gonna go in with the top coat. And uh, I love the top coat portion so much, particularly when I'm doing encapsulation. It's just, uh, it makes that glitter sparkle and just pop out so beautifully. But yes, here we have the finished result. And as you can see, so sparkly and pretty. I love the way these turned out. The poly gel with the butterflies, it just looks so pretty together. And of course, I have to give all credit to Nails by Vic. She did a blue version of this, but that's where I got the inspiration for these nails. I love the shape, the color. Oh, they just turned out so perfectly. But yes, if you guys enjoyed this video, then give me a like and a comment down below. I love you all for watching. And until next time, bye!